Hey guys, so over the past weekend, we've gotten some really great news on the Juniper Model Y and the full scale production is beginning by mid 2024. That means that the production has likely already started. The first Gigafactory to transition over to this new production line will be Giga Shanghai and this will be one of the greatest changes to the Model Y yet. Now, what this also means is similar to the Model 3 Highlands, China and surrounding countries are going to get the Model 3 Juniper way before North America does. All this means is that Giga Shanghai and the Tesla team is highly efficient in what they're doing and you guys are likely going to be seeing the very first Juniper Model Y prototypes somewhere mid to late January. If you guys want to know more about this and when they're going to be hitting the roads, go check out my previous video. I documented all the details of what we know so far with the Juniper Model Y and when you guys are likely to take delivery. All of that, I'll drop it in the description below and one right up top there for you guys to check out but yeah go on to the juniper playlist i've covered so much about it as for all the features coming to this new model y you can expect all the latest and greatest features from all other models of all packed within this new upgrade some of the nicer features that are guaranteed at this point is ambient lighting cooled seats blind spot monitoring from the model 3 then we have the stockless design the rear display and the upgraded seating directly from the model s and X and just possibly we might be seeing some of the upgrades coming directly from the Cybertruck as well. We're talking about vehicle to grid, the 120 volt outlet and maybe even a powered trunk. So yeah, being that the Model Y is literally the best selling car in the world right now, there's no doubt they're going to be packing all the latest and greatest features inside of this car. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check out all the details in my Model Y Juniper playlist. That's where you guys are going to know if it's worth it to buy it right now better to wait or just buy the one that's slightly refreshed that's available in the markets if you guys are living in certain parts of the world all right so let's talk about the exterior of the model y this is likely going to be seeing a refresh as well similar to the model 3 highlands but this is going to be very unique to the model y it is in tesla's best interest to differentiate the model so they can highlight their own segment however this is definitely going to come complicate the production line a little bit more. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Would you rather keep the Model Y and the Model 3 on the exact same platform and keep them very similar to each other or differentiate them completely so the Model Y will compete with the SUVs and the Model 3 will compete with the sedan segment? Now, I am almost certain some of you guys are asking about the front bumper and hardware 4, whether it's going to arrive in the Model Y finally. Well, we've seen it in the Cybertruck truck and there has been documentation saying that the Cybertruck is not using the front bumper camera for full self-driving at all or at least the moment where Tesla is unable to incorporate the front bumper angles towards the full self-driving system however the Model Y is going to be different if you guys can recall they've decided to hold back on the Model 3 Highland front bumper camera this is likely due to the placement of where it is and how it be washed if it got dirty one thing I can say for sure is is Tesla definitely knows that there are limitations in their Tesla Vision Park Assist stack and that means that as of right now if it does get dirty the whole system completely fails if there is something in the front bumper area in the blind spot area the system will not be able to detect it essentially we're facing the issue Tesla's facing the issue everyone is facing the same issue and there's no doubt Tesla would want to fix this blind spot and there's no better way than adding a front bumper camera this is going to make it very incredible in terms of 360 degree view. I would also think that Tesla wants to ensure that their mass marketed SUV which is going to sell in a bunch that every single part is available for what it's supposed to do. If they decide to not incorporate it in this car they're going to have to regret it and retrofit every single one of them once Tesla vision and full self driving requires it. Alright so on to the good stuff now. So exactly as the title states we are going to be getting a much improved battery going into this Model Y that not even the Cybertruck or the Model 3 Highland has seen yet. This battery here is going to boost the Model Y in every single sense and it's going to improve it in so many different ways. Tesla is planning to work with Catho, a large Chinese battery manufacturing plant that is going to be building a battery exclusive to the Model Y. What's special about this LFP battery is that it's going to boost efficiency 
efficiency by around 20%. That means that you're going to be getting a 20% range increase and it's going to be topping out at a charging rate of 350 kilowatts. This is 100 kilowatts faster than what we have right now. So as soon as you plug it in, your car is going to have an amazing charging curve. Of course, LFP is going to bring its own advantages such as longer lifespan, a much better charging curve, and even the lower cost of building those batteries. There are also other indications that Tesla is going with the N3P batteries found in the Model 3 performance right now. However, it does not come with all the benefits of the LFP packs, although it will give a quicker 0 to 60 performance. So here's one thing to keep in mind. Between those two options, Tesla is likely going to be going with the LFP pack just because of how much it costs. It's going to lower the overall cost of the vehicle. But there is one other thing that keeps Tesla from going purely with the LFP pack and this is because the US federal incentive only prioritizes those batteries that come directly from the US, whereas the LFP pack will come from China. In either case, we're going to be seeing a massive upgrade to the Model Y on the exterior and on the interior. As for the battery technology alone, it really depends where you are and how much you prioritize the charging and how much you prioritize performance. Now, if you guys are planning to buy one in the short term, make sure you guys watch my previous video. I outlined five things you guys should consider before picking up right now or waiting down the line for the new Model Y refresh. I will continue to keep you guys as updated as possible. There is a lot of information I want to share with you. The New Year's and Christmas just passed, so I took a couple days off, but we should be back on track now. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter and X at HeyJohnE if you guys haven't already done so. Over there, we can chat, we can discuss outside of YouTube. There's a lot of stuff I do share on there as well. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.